I'm Rebecca Fryer with Kingstonist News. Here's what's making headlines today, November 29th, 2022. Yesterday, the Ontario government officially passed its controversial Bill 23, the More Homes Built Faster Act. The Ford government claims it will help solve some of the province's housing issues by getting rid of red tape put in place to protect wetlands and other designated environmental spaces. However, opponents of the bill call it short-sighted and devastating for smaller municipalities. This is because in addition to the bill opening up wetlands and floodplains for residential development with little to no consideration made for where the water's going to end up, Kingston City Councillor Gregory Ridge says the bill also gets rid of developmental charges for municipalities, which will directly result in less cash for local essential services like snow removal and road maintenance. Protests against Bill 23 were held in Kingston on Sunday in front of Kingston City Hall, with attendees demanding answers to why the city of Kingston had not added its name to a letter addressed to Premier Doug Ford and his ministers from a collective of conservation authorities and neighboring municipalities here in eastern Ontario. Recently re-elected Kingston Mayor Brian Patterson says he was approached about the letter but said that the deadline to sign was before the new city council took office and he says he didn't want to presume to act on that council's behalf without speaking to them first. To read more about this developing story and what the passing of Bill 23 could mean for us here in Kingston, check out kingstonist.com. Kingston police need your help identifying a suspect wanted for break and enter at an address on Princess Street last month. Police say sometime between 5 p.m. on October 23rd and noon on October 24th, a male captured on security cameras broke into the residence in the 700 block of Princess Street and stole cash and electronics. Police describe the suspect as a middle-aged white male with medium length, curly or wavy brown hair with some gray. At the time of the incident, police say he was wearing what appears to be a navy blue hoodie, dark pants and dark shoes. Police ask anyone with any information on this suspect to give them a call. A reminder that you can leave tips anonymously by calling the Kingston Police main line and simply asking to remain anonymous. A 14-year-old Kingston teen has been arrested and charged with uttering threats after police say they posted threatening remarks on social media on November 25th against a local school. Police say officers were quickly able to determine the identity of the individual making the threats and then attended a home in Kingston's North End the same day where the accused was located and arrested without incident. And lastly, OPP continue to investigate a collision involving a car and a house on Highway 15. Police say the crash happened around 6.30 p.m. on November 26th, where the 73-year-old driver of the vehicle veered off the roadway and collided with a house in what OPP describe as a spectacular crash. Both the driver and the 85-year-old passenger had to be rescued from the vehicle and were transported to hospital with minor injuries. Police say the house, however, is a complete write-off as the crash caused a fire that engulfed the structure. Thankfully, the occupants of the home were not there at the time of the crash. OPP are, however, looking for more details and any witnesses who may have more information as to what led to the collision. You can also leave tips anonymously by calling Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-TIPS or by going online to OntarioCrimeStoppers.ca. For more on these stories and other headlines or to submit your own news, visit Kingstonist.com and become a subscriber today. I'm Rebecca Fryer. Have a great one, Kingston.